back in the day when Looney Tunes was still pumping out that quasi wabbit, Bugs Bunny, sometimes Bugs wanting to insult someone would say something like, What a maroon! What an ignoranimous! A little bit more sophisticated insult could probably be appropriated from the bard in Macbeth. A tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. My grandparents and my parents, when wanting to insult someone, they might say something like, they must have more money than good sense. Or in this case, he must have more time than good sense. So, with the self-deprecation out of the way, what am I up to? Why in the world would I do that? Hi again, I'm Dave, also known as Geezer Geek, as you see right up there. And maybe your first answer to that question is, I'm just being a stupid old geezer. Get with the program. This is 2020. In fact, 2020 is one third gone already. So let's be clear. I'm not saying you should go out and try to procure an FDC, floppy disk controller, nor the floppies to go with them. They're scarcer than hen's teeth. That's why Linus Torvalds and company deprecated support for the floppy last year. Now, I do have two in my FX4100, and I have some more in the boneyard behind me, but how many working F floppies are there out there? Not to, not to mention the FDCs, the boards that have them anymore. So no, I am not advocating for bringing back this antiquated technology. It really is legacy tech. And there are much better ways of doing most things today. And if you really do feel the need of doing something with a floppy, there's always this answer, which works right out of the box. A USB floppy. No problems. Just plug it into your Ubuntu system and you're ready to go. And you can still get those for under 20 bucks. Save yourself a lot of hassle. Now, today I doubt there are two people in a hundred. Make that two people in a thousand who would have my particular use case or my bullheadedness to try to keep such old tech useful. So, if you're still watching, that means probably one of two things. Either you're looking for some laughs, or you're actually one of those minority cases that's interested in can it be done. For me, this is a learning project, and I'm doing it because in the course of starting to work on my FX4100 platform, I decided I really ought to make sure that all of the hardware in it was working. So in my last video, I told you about building a Ryzen 9 system to do my video projects. My FX4100 had been the platform for that for a while. Doing fine, just a little bit slow. It's a system I built about eight years ago. Still a good system, just a little slow, as I said, and needing a little bit of tweaking. So I decided to tweak it, and in the process, Opening it up, working on it, I said, no, wait a minute, I put these two floppies in it. I've never used them. Should I just pull them? Offer them on eBay or Craigslist or something? Or can I actually make them work? Yeah, I have a ton of these old things. Hmm, I wonder what I can find on them. Going back to the 80s? Well, can I actually make them work? Practicality is not the issue here. Learning is what is at issue. Curiosity is a long suit for those in the Linux world and for hackers and computer geeks in general. So there you have it. I'm doing this because it's there. Just as I climbed Mount Whitney as a teen, because it was there. What practical purpose did that serve? Not a lot, perhaps, but the things I saw.
the things I learned. The journey was completely worth it, and I expect my curiosity to continue to serve me well. Now, if you don't have time for this kind of stuff, that's okay too. So, before I go tearing into this eight-year-old FX4100 platform, I'm going to tinker. Now, I already know that getting the floppies going in kernel 5 and at least some of the kernel 4 versions of, uh, of those that are released by Canonical, at least, with Ubuntu, um, with them, it would be a whole slew of work. So I'm going to first try some other releases that are specifically focused for legacy hardware. See what happens. DSL and Puppy are among those I'm going to try. I'm going to do some experimenting because I'm curious. And in my next video, I'll let you know what I've learned. What I've learned that I don't already know. So, I'll see you soon.